Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. This is a very long haul. It was longer than I anticipated because a really big package from Stackery just arrived and I had quite a lot of stuff stashed up anyway. I know I had a haul go off my channel quite recently, but that actually was delayed by several weeks because of how my filming schedule ended up. So sorry there in quick succession, but I'm also not sorry because you love planner hauls. So I think you're probably fine with the fact that there's multiple. But yeah, I really hope you enjoy. Let's show you what's here. So before we get started, just to apologize if it is a little bit noisy, I film in the conservatory and I feel like the birds are just <laughs> given it's like half five are being really noisy there is a house across the like other side of the gardens from us who is like always permanently having building work done so I apologize um <laughs> but I really am in the mood to film and I need to get ahead with my content so we're gonna go ahead so first up to absolutely nobody's surprise is planner face I do PR for planner face you can use my code cat10 to save 10% on your orders and add my name in notes to sell it to pick up my freebie which is currently this book themed one which matches a reading themed kit in shop if you want to pick that up so this is a mixture of things as I PR for planner face I do get PR credit so I get free credit for promoting Anna's stuff so there will be some PR stuff in here there is a world stationery order in here I do have the may mystery as well which i'll show right at the end of the video so there's a bit of a mixture of stuff so um let's just get into it because even if it's from a sale you wouldn't be able to shop in that sale now unfortunately anyway so first up we have the world stationery day order freebie i love this it is obviously stationery and planner themed love the colorway i think it's really cute i love these doodles as well these ones are a little bit bigger than anna typically does them so they would be good for either half boxes or for if you use any other kind of planner. So Anna, if you watch her studio vlogs, has been using a different kind of planner at the moment. So she was probably thinking about using those in there. So very fun. Then in terms of order freebies, I have three May order freebies um, because clearly I ordered three times in May. So quite a lot of that. I love this colorway. We need that in a kit, Anna. <laughs> we need to think of a mystery we can have for that. Oh, look, I have my my PR free for you there. I brought it down from my like stash. I always keep one of my freebies because uh, I don't know, nostalgia. Uh, but it turns out I got another one, which is good because it then means I actually have one to go with the kit I want to use it with. And then I also got Melissa's freebie here as well. The lovely Mellow Plans, just an amazing person. Love watching her content. So do check out Mel's stuff. Then I have some doodles. So first up, I have these sailing boat doodles, which I got to mark our cruise, which we've just come back from when I'm filming this. But I actually got some cruise stickers from SPC that are much more appropriate. So um, I don't know what I'm going to do with the sailboat stickers now. I also got some car doodles just because it's really useful for marking like travel by car. And I don't have a ton of car stickers. So I thought those would be good. Some TV doodles. If you've been around here a while, you'll know the TV doodle is my absolute favourite doodle. I am like the TV doodle original stan. I was so pleased when it made it into the kit reformat because it wasn't in kits for most of like, well, all the time that Anna has had doodles. And I really love that we've got it in kits now, but I just, I just really love the TV doodle and I was getting low, so I picked up some more. And then I also picked up the cheese doodle because it's actually something which you would be surprised at how often I feel a need to mark cheese. There is a fly in here which is getting in the way of my filming. Um, yeah, like I, you know, things like cheese boards or with cheese boards, that's basically all it is, or like cheese and crackers. And I don't have any cheese stickers, so I thought these would be perfect. So those are my kind of freebies, doodles, etc. And now let's get into this hefty stack of kits. So first up, we have the terracotta kit. I love this art by Milk and Berries. It is so gorgeous. It's really kind of like Italy vibes to me. I'm not sure if it's based off Italy or Greece or somewhere like that. Somewhere European, but I think it's absolutely stunning the issue that i will have is when i will use this because i um i'm somebody who's very particular about keeping kits for the perfect moment and i have quite a lot of european kits generally so hopefully i will push through and just use this for like a you know a decent uh, like summer you know summer week would be great but yeah i really love this i think it's so cute i get the full kit from anna so that's what you will be seeing in all of these kits so i won't go through the format in too much detail because to be honest i think this haul's going to take me a while to film and i'm worried it's going to get dark um so i'm just going to go ahead and flick through the kit for you i love the patterns in this kit i love this shade of blue as well and that bottom washi wow 
I love it. I absolutely love it. And I didn't get the 15 millimeter for this kit because I just didn't feel that one should be splitting that bottom washi. So in terms of kit extras, we have got the doodle add on. So if you haven't seen any recent videos and I've recently reformatted her kit, so we now get doodles look at her just look at her um we now get our doodles and clip art and the kind of functionals basically on a separate sheet we also have the standard anna generosity and that she's given us the fashion person in different skin tones and hair colors and then i guess because there were a couple of hands featured in the kit we then also got some extra boxes as well so this is definitely a kit that would last me beyond a seven by nine spread I would definitely be able to use it for something else, which is great. And then I also bought the toolbox add-on because I'm just obsessed with this fashion person. I would like a million times wear that play suit. I think that that kind of looks like me, like this one in particular. Um, so I'm obsessed with that. And then I have the glitter add-on as well. So that's the first kit, which is Terracotta. Next up, we have Lazy Sundays. So this is a really cute, just general lazy chill out kit. And I've used most of my kits that are like this because, you know, we had a pandemic. So um, I used them all. Um, so I decided to go ahead and pick this one up because I thought it would be good to have another kind of lazy kit. There are just some times where it's really appropriate for the week. So I thought I'd go ahead and get it. And frankly, I got it for the cat and the dog. Okay, like I just love them. They look so relaxed. I'm obsessed with it. And I really like the colours that Anna chose for this kit. I love that she bought in the green because I think otherwise this kit would have been very pastel. And not that that would have necessarily been a bad thing, but I do typically like my kits to have like a little bit of pop of colour in there. And I love that the pop of colour is mint green. So the bottom washi is this gorgeous pink flower pattern. And again, I don't think I got the 15 millimetre of this one because I didn't want to split that. So in terms of kit freebies from Anna, we have the fashion people with different hair and skin tones obsessed absolutely obsessed we have the functional sheet love that and then the paid for add-ons that i got was the uh toolboxes because i just really love this fashion person i think that nella the artist who drew this clip art kit did such a good job drawing them um and then i got the um glitter add-on as well so that is Lazy Sundays. Then we have Je Kittenish Jess's Summer Art for this year, which is so fun. It's called Lemonade. And when Jess was sneaking the kit, I actually wasn't 100% sure if I was going to love it. I was like, okay, it's very modern. And this is so not a criticism of any artist in any way, um, because it's it's actually of the time and therefore I fully believe the artist should be doing it but I am not particularly fashionable and so I kind of you know I haven't necessarily moved with like the younger generation fashion um like I was watching something where somebody insulted a cardigan and um it was it was a tiktok reel and I was like right I always wear cardigans so you know I haven't really moved with the times so there are some kits where I feel that the art is just too modern it doesn't reflect me which is absolutely fine I have too many kits anyway like I don't need to buy everything that comes out so when i saw jess sneak this i was like okay i'm not 100 sure that it's going to be for me but i love it now i have seen it in the full spread i think it's so cute i love the fashion people i love the vibes it's actually really retro which i wasn't expecting from the sneak and i feel like i love how jess has brought in like the kittenish donuts the lemonade the like tape like the video tape i just love that like it's actually very much of my era so really cool um yeah i just love this i don't know when i'm going to use it i've seen a lot of people bringing this into their summer spreads so i may use this but i feel like it's going to be one that i like save for going to an arcade even though i have other kits i could use for that so i don't know we'll see i haven't thought necessarily yet about when i want to use it but i really like it so i'm hoping i can push through and use it this year I love that we've, like, this yellow is just so bright. I am obsessed with it. And I love that it's predominantly pink and orange. So I've mentioned this a few times on the channel before, but pink and orange is one of my favorite color combinations. And when I was at school, my maths textbook was pink and orange gel pen exclusively. <laughs> it was very intense. So I just love that we have the the pink and orange vibes you know so this is the bottom washi so again i didn't get the 15 millimeter from anna because i didn't feel like this bottom washi needed to be split so the freebies that anna gave as usual has been very generous so we've got the functional add-on we've got the 
fashion people so i don't think this fashion person were they in the four boxes no so this is an additional fashion person right so in this kit because there's a tall box and as well there are four fashion people i love fashion people and i love jess's fashion people more than anything and so i'm so excited for this many fashion people i just love it and it definitely means this kit will go further for me which is great we've got the alternatives of the hands there for like the hand and feet on the floor with the smiley faces we've got the alternative um skin tone and hair colors as well for the person that's like looking in the um clip what is it called claw machine so that's fun and then the paid for annas that i got i got the toolboxes because obsessed with this toolbox i love it um and i love so anna does this with toolboxes where she will sometimes differentiate the backgrounds and so it's really fun if you did want to use two of them or you had them like separate in the spread they are do actually have different backgrounds on them so really fun and then we've got the glitter add-on as well so that is lemonade i'm obsessed with that kit i really really like it and i need to try and find um a place to use it this year next up we have resort so if you've watched my 360 planner sticker kit collection video you will know that i have a ton of summer kits right i have a whole album of them basically and i don't need any more of them i don't really go on that many summer holidays like we've just been on our summer holiday just now and because we're not i don't think we'll go away again in the summer and like i don't think i'm going to use a summer kit for it so you know there's like I don't know it's so silly really um that i keep buying them but there's something about summer kits it's the water i feel like all i want to do is be in that water i'm somebody who actually finds water very peaceful despite the fact that i can't swim um i find the sound of water peaceful i really i listen to a lot of um atmospheric sounds when i sleep i listen to headspace the app and i listen to a lot of water there when we were on the cruise just looking out the water was so calming so if there's water in a kit, I'm probably going to buy it. So here we are. And this one, I do think I could use for something that's a little bit more UK, uh, even though I'm pretty sure it's based on somewhere abroad. But I think I could use it for a UK trip um, or like a beach day or something like that. So we'll see. But I just couldn't resist it. I think Dinda Milk and Berries, the artist, just did such an incredible job with this water. I couldn't not have it. And I love the way Anna put it together. The kit's blue and yellow, which is really my vibes right now as well. So I just had to, okay? That's the defense of the kit over. So um, yeah, really love the vibes. I love that we've got a food flat lay in there. I can't resist a food flat lay. I also am obsessed with this fashion person. Love that they are curvy in a bikini. Like I personally don't have the confidence where a bikini is a curvy person, but I really wish I did. And so kind of seeing artists draw people um, who are curvy and loving their bodies is great or you know kind of happy to show off their bodies is great so it's good for me so then we have the second page so we've got the flat lay of the bag and then we've got like a parent and child or something like that but you could definitely use this for like if you have a niece or nephew or you know sort of any kids or friends kids or anything like that I think this would really work as well so I will flick through love the water pattern I just love the the blue and yellow the blue and gold this gold is a really like sandy gold which I really like it's just it's just beautiful and the bottom washi is like my whole life look at it wow that's so pretty i'm obsessed with that okay so in terms of kit freebies just this blue and yellow combo love the functional sheet um did i pick this one up i don't think so i think these were both freebies because we had the like adult and child in the kit so these were probably both freebies so we have that person uh and this person in different skin tones and hair colors and the same for the like parent and child or or whatever and then i've got the glitter add-on as well so that is resort then we have two really fun kits so these are both party themed and jess released these um a few weeks ago and it was basically a party set in two different colorways so there is a bright colorway and a pastel colorway and jess has a really fun vlog up on her channel where she is talking about drawing these i would really recommend checking out jess's youtube channel if you haven't already and you like youtube content because it was really fun watching jess talk about this kit because originally this kit was going to be more or did she talk about this in the hall or separate to the vlog i don't know anyway you should just watch jess's videos regardless um but she was talking about how this was this 
bright colorway well in fact i think possibly both of them actually were going to be kids birthday kits and then everyone was commenting being like i want to use that for my birthday i love this kit so um jess then decided to draw some adults into the kits as well we love that you know that jess would just go to that like effort to sort of make it so you know listen to the community and add in what they want and Anna and I were talking about the kits and Anna wanted to make the kits kind of different and we were going back and forwards and debating sort of how we could do that and I recommended to Anna that she could add in some pets because Jess has drawn pets for a different completely different set so we have got a dog and a cat so these were actually my ideas so if you ordered these kits from Plan Face I hope that you like this I very much wanted it to be like a whole family vibe <laughs> um because you've got like parents and kids and we'll, i'll show you them in a second but now you've also got pets featured it also means that if you did want to use these for pet birthdays you now could do that hopefully so i really hope you like it and in this one anna decided to go with the king charles spaniel which i love because we used to have a king charles spaniel called joey and me and joey share a birthday and so i might use this one year for my birthday because it would be really nice to like remember joey in there and i surprisingly because i'm a pastel girly i'm you know no, I love a pink I love a purple but I actually prefer the bright colorway um I don't know why like I love them both don't get me wrong but I actually think I prefer the bright one so I love that we've got Joey in the bright one so I know you're not going to call him Joey but like if you don't know a King Charles Spaniel please call this box Joey so I love these four boxes I love the scene it's just this is just such a party vibe I love that we've got the bouncy castle as well because I do think this kit really does lean to like a kid's birthday and so if you do have kids I think these kits are perfect. I don't have kids. I might save these when I do have kids. I don't know. We'll see but yeah I just really love it. I really love it. So there's a lot of add-ons here so we're going to come back to the add-ons but let me just take you through the kit. So some elements of the four boxes will be the same. Some will be different. Anna has tried to sort of like mix it up a bit but I to be honest even though the, some of the clip art is the same I think the kits just look completely different vibes. Like these are the same box but they look so different to me i i really like it and i hope that jess considers doing it for some future art sets because i really felt like it gave, gave the kits different vibes for jess to draw them with two different colorways and anna wouldn't always do two colorways for a kit i should say that as well there are other artists who will do two colorways and anna will pick one or the other but with the jess one she was like yeah i'm definitely going to do both so i think that it's you know something particularly jess can get away with so in terms of extras so i did go for the 15 millimeter for this kit because i felt like the checkered pattern is just like quite an intense pattern on its own so i did buy the 15 millimeter i don't know whether i will use it or not because it's a kind of more like marbly pattern and I don't know how well it goes with the checkered -y pattern so I might just go for like and have the checkered I don't know we'll see but I did pick up the 50 millimeter for this kit so in terms of kit freebies we've got the functional sheets there is also we're getting into like the fashion people now but this is a kit freebie so you get a baby as part of the kit freebie so I really really like that because I feel like there are not a lot of kits like I have quite a few kits that I'm saving for if Stuart and I are able to have children I have those kits but I don't really have kits for like when it's that baby's birthday you know so I think this might be really good for a birthday then we get into add-ons that I bought so Anna basically did kind of fashion add-ons with all the same hair color just to make it a little bit easier to pick up so I did pick up number four and number seven because number four is the one that looks like me number seven questionably looks like Stuart so the the blonde that Jess does her um, fashion people in is a lot blonder than Stuart is blonde um, he's a kind of dirty blonde um, and but I prefer to buy blonde boxes to represent him but just because I feel like he to me he leans more blonde than brunette um if if he if he was more brunette it would be easier because then i could just pick up one fan box but i just prefer it i prefer it to have a blonde box to represent him i also like it when there's kid boxes i like to pick up blonde as well because again stuart is blonde though i was talking to stuart about this when we were on the cruise um so stuart has blonde this like dirty blonde hair but he has red um facial hair so he doesn't ever really show his facial hair but when it grows in a little bit it's red his brother's is the same and his um sister has a has two kids and her eldest is very very red hair and there is red like in Stuart's family I think his mum has red hair so I was like are we gonna have red children I've not been picking up the red haired boxes <laughs> um but there's no red in my family so I don't I think I was talking to Emma about it and I don't think we would have 
a redhead child because there's no red in our family um because red is a recessive gene but i don't know for sure but i haven't been picking up the redhead box and i'm suddenly getting into this real panic that i will have all these kit saves where i could have had a red box and i didn't but anyway i'm sure it's fine um i'm working on the assumption that our kids will have dark hair or blonde hair um so yeah so yeah as i say i've just picked up them all well they all came as a set anyway i love the color of this dress i love the balloons i love everything about this i really like it um and then i got the glitter add-on as well so this kit is called hip oh, hip hooray and then this kit is called party popper so let's go through party popper so this one is the pastel version so maybe you know if you did want to i feel like this would also really work for a baby shower kit because of the like pink and blue element um if you're somebody who's into baby showers but as i say it could be for this gorgeous cat's birthday you know it just really works um add-on wise we're looking pretty similar <laughs> so i won't take too long on this but again i just feel like the vibes of the kit are really different i think jess picked two completely different colorways which works really well and i think that anna spent a lot of time making the kits look different as well and i just really appreciate both of them so the bottom washi is the same checkered pattern so i did pick up the 15 minute meter as well just in case i decided that i wanted to break up that pattern we've got the kit freebies the same as the last one and then i did pick up the fan boxes again in four and seven for the reasons i've just mentioned so really really fun order there i'm so excited to stop putting that away because there's just so much good stuff there um so that is my all my stuff from planner face apart from the may mystery uh yeah may mystery which i will show you right at the end of this video with plenty of spoiler warning next up we have scribble prints co so the other big shop that i shop from um and this is mostly my spc anniversary order for this year but there is also another order in here i think possibly um anna sent me a couple of bits as well and then i've also got the april mystery from spc which i will show you at the end of this video so first up we've got two journaling cards we got this one in the 200 when i say we anna and i went in together on our like spc anniversary order so if i say we it's me and anna um but yeah we got this journaling card but anna made us an order i think for spc or she got sent a d stash or something like that and got sent this one so i have both now which i love i love this art i have the kit um that this is it was called i don't remember i cannot think what it's called and it's in the other room but it's a really fun like modern disney set and i'm hoping to use it this year uh not that we're going to disney but i'm using it for like the disney concert that we're watching but yeah this art is from that and i love that i've got those on the journaling cards so thank you to anna for a letting me keep this one for my order but b sending me that one anna's not really into disney um then anna sent me this one which is uh the print impression doodle freebie and then this was from the um the sale so this i don't know how to even really go through this with you firstly it would help us the right way around but there's there's a lot here so first up we have i think this was the all order freebie which is in a rainbow very fun uh like glittery i'm not like massively into the scribblers um but i will use them like if i get them on freebies i'll use them but i don't actually buy any of the scribblers but this one's really cute because it's got like andrea's like split hair <laughs> that's adorable i love this unicorn i need to find a reason to use the unicorns um then there were multiple freebies so first up we have a from the vault rack bag so let me go through with you what we got in this. I don't remember how much you had to spend. Anna and I spent the full $200. That's why we did it together. So we have got like all the freebies you could receive in part of this sale. But I don't remember what you had to spend to get this. So we have got these ones which are like doodle freebies. I've never seen this gold one before. It's like a celebration one. They're kind of massive. So I'm not sure if I would use them. But they are really nice. This is like copper I think. Doodle um, like food doodles. We've got this one, which are giant flags in SPC rose gold, but they are very large. Um, these ones are sparkly hollow star overlays. Always happy to have those like four boxes. This is rose gold bottom washi in heart. Very happy to have that as well. Uh, Anna didn't want any of the freebies, by the way. She's letting me keep them all. Um, these are silver like dollar um, icons. These are hollow um, overlay boxes with a bow these ones i really like these are silver countdowns and i think this is j crew plans is writing jess's writing is my fave uh these ones are gold stars 
really like those very usable these ones are like the matte washi that have the background so they're not clear overlays but they're kind of good colors i think the blue and yellow so i'll probably keep that so those were the from the the like from the vault bag then you also i think must have got a free foil bundle for one of them because i checked my invoice and i didn't order this because it i think if i'd ordered it i would have ordered it in silver so i'm pretty sure this was a freebie i unless i was accidentally sent it but i think it was a freebie so this is the gold snow foil bundle i think in version two very happy to have this because even though i mostly use silver at um at winter i do sometimes use gold <laughs> so i'm really happy to have that love the bottom washi of that um you may have just seen a spoiler there but to be honest so many people have spoiled it i don't think it matters but just to say in this order i will have the 200 dollar freebie uh is like what i'm about to show and then i do also have the pop mystery in here as well i'm not going to save them for the end because they have been unbelievably spoiled across social media like people are a little bit better about the monthly mystery a little bit but i wasn't even sure i was going to watch the mystery reveal video that andrea did and i asked anna if i should and she told me to and she was right to because honestly it has been spoiled for me so many times on social media so i've maybe have just spoiled it for you as well so i apologize but if i didn't um i'm about to spoil it for you but you will have seen it already so the 200 dollar freebie and as i say anna and i went in on this together is this haunted mansion kit i correctly guessed that this was what the kit would be uh based on the sort of limited information that anna gave uh, that andrea gave sorry um i had guessed that it was haunted mansion it's andrea's favorite ride at disney like one of her children is named after the ride so i very accurately guessed that it would be a haunted mansion kit and um yeah but anna and i went in on this order together because i i don't I completely understand why Andrea did this. Um, there's all this stuff going on with Andrea and pop mysteries and, and pop kits right now. And I'm not really going to go into it because it's, you can watch Andrea's videos and stuff to find out more about it. Um, but I, um, this is how Andrea is going to be doing pop uh, pop culture kits for the foreseeable future until she's not doing them anymore is doing them as mysteries and i completely get that i think it was a really smart move to do it as the 200 dollar freebie for the kit because it kind of i, I don't think i would have chosen to spend 200 dollars on my own but anna and i doing it together it was useful the downside for me is that um 200 dollars is well above the stack re limit in order to stay under the customs amount which meant that i have spent an absolute fortune on customs to get this shipped to me and i did put a comment on andrea's youtube channel to ask whether she would split the orders to kind of work better for people that are ordering via american mailboxes not that andrea has to do that but she didn't reply to that client um and she doesn't have to make it work for us but it does mean that if this is going to be something that like continues to happen it was a lot to spend $200. It's a lot of money for me to spend on stickers um, in general. I mean, she says with a massive haul in front of her, but it's a lot to spend with one shop. And it was really great because I could do it with Anna and she got some stuff and I got some stuff and so it worked, but I did then have to pay customs. And because I was paying customs on that, I shipped all of this stuff from the US with it. And that was also partly why it was so much money in customs. If I just shipped the SPC order, it wouldn't have been as much. But in order i had then had to obviously pay to have it shipped to stackery and then if i didn't combine it with anything it would have been like almost pointless um because i would have been just paying the uk shipping so i don't think i'm explaining that well at all but basically i don't know how much of a fan i am of this as a general sale option um because of how it works for uk people and the issue that i majorly have is fomo because particularly when i know it's like a disney related pop culture i'm like well i need the kit then because i'm if you don't know obsessed with disney um so it's a hard one i completely understand why andrea did it and i support her doing it whether i can continue to kind of go along with it i don't know i like how she's doing it with the pop culture releases now where she's going to give more clues as to the pop mystery kit that she's releasing i really appreciate that because i don't want all of the pop culture kits and it's so expensive for me to have them shipped to the uk that i don't want to buy them and then always need to sell them on so does that make any sense i don't know anyway so the $200 um, kit was this Haunted Mansion kit. Um, I will not be keeping this kit because I have a different Haunted Mansion kit that I want to use for the film coming out later this year. So I won't be keeping this one. So I will be selling this one. So if you're interested in it, and I will be selling it because I had to spend, well, between me and Anna, we had to spend an awful lot of money and I have paid to have it ship here and I've paid customs on it. So normally I wouldn't, but I am going to be selling it. So if you would like it, 
please feel free to message me on Instagram um, and we can have a chat. But yeah, so, so I will show you the kit, even though I'm not keeping it, just in case you're looking at it and think you would like to keep it. Um, it's obviously a really good option for, if you don't know, Disney are releasing a Haunted Mansion kit later this year. I assume with these actors that are in this set. So really, really good option for the movie. And as I say, I just won't be using it because I have a kit already in mind for the movie. I really like that bottom washi. And this is the um, kit freebie. I really love this toolbox. Very fun. So yeah, that is the Haunted Mansion kit. As I say, Anna and I are de stashing it. If you would like it, please feel free to message me over on Instagram. So then we have the Pop Mystery Kit, which I did not correctly guess. So Andrea did a... Um, uh, like a colour scheme reveal? What's it called? Colour palette? I should know. I work with mystery themes uh, and mood boards. A colour palette. Um, and I thought it was Mulan. Um, but it is Princess Diaries, which is really fun because that is a movie I very much enjoy. So really, um, yeah, I'm actually really happy with it as a theme. Uh, but I would have liked more reveals um and that's again why i say i really like how andrea is doing it now where she's going to give more clues as to what the kit is because i just i can't afford it's so, the, the pound to the dollar is so poor that i really really can't afford to keep buying all the mystery kits in the hope i will like them so um i really appreciate andrea doing more um transparent reveals now but yeah um but as i say i'm really happy with this one and I'll be honest, when I saw this one shown on Andre's reveal video, there is something about the SPC reveal videos, and I do not know why this is the case, but it often happens with the mysteries or things like that, that when I see Andrea reveal them, I don't, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the lighting or what, um, but I don't always like the kits, and then I often end up picking them up later when I watch other people haul them. Um, but now I or I, or when I you know or I'll like get it because it's a mystery or something and I'm subscribed and then I, it arrives and I like it a lot more and this is absolutely an example of that where I didn't think I was going to keep the kit because unfortunately for Andrea um somebody else had commissioned exclusive art of Princess Diaries um and so I was actually going to pick up that one but now I have this one I actually really like it so I'm going to be keeping it and yeah I really love this just looks so much like Julie Andrews I'm obsessed this looks so much like Anna Hathaway I'm not sure which artist this is but it's a really really good job love the box here the only thing I don't like is this light here looks like uh the box is damaged but it isn't because Anna bought this kit as well and I looked at it on hers um yeah I really like it I love I really like the colours. Um, it's really fun. I love the, the light on this box. Incredible. Um, yeah, is it? This might be Sadie Piper. This might be Sadie because I feel like Sadie does light like that. Anyway, so in terms of kit add-ons, so I get the mini kit from SPC. So I have this toolbox, which is... Um, Mia when she's like in the dress. Um, this is so fun. This is the um like a double box which i don't know it's just really fun like you can you can make it so it goes like this and then you can have like mia underneath which i think is really fun um and then i got the label add-on in the normal colorway and label add-on too which is in green which i will be bringing in i think because it's a really nice shade of green but yeah really really like this kit as i say i am very happy with it so those are the mysteries and then let's get into the rest of my order so i got some doodles so i got these dice ones which are good i think to mark when Stuart is gaming like he is right now um so i think that's what i got those for and i tried to be really good with what i bought i wanted to be really intentional with this spc order and sort of buy things that i really needed so i topped up on a lot of doodles that i've used a lot of the time so i got these ones which are the playbill ones because i really love those i don't go to Broadway, obviously, but I use them to mark like West End shows and stuff. I got these engagement rings because getting married and so I use them a fair amount. Uh, these ones, I love these. These are like music doodles and I use those to mark watching shows as well. The book stack doodles, I use these to mark either filming book calls or going to Waterstones and stuff like that. So buying books. These ones I didn't have before. These are like flat lay open books. So I thought these were really fun and I mark reading a lot. So I need a lot of reading stickers. These ones are tissue stickers. I got one of these on a freebie and really liked it. And they're a really good little size. So I picked those up as well. These ones are the cruise stickers that I picked up. So I will be using those in my cruise spread for 
last week. These are the YouTube hearts. I get through these pretty quickly, so I thought I'd pick these up. And then I picked up one character doodle, which is the Figment doodle, because I don't think I will necessarily ever use these, but um, Figment is a Disney character who is not really a thing over here. I only really found out about Figment in Florida, but it's a terrible ride in Florida. And so it's like a private joke between me and Stuart. So like I had to pick up the Figment, <laughs> Figment character. Then I picked up some um, various kit add-ons. So this one is the toolboxes from the refresh kit, which was a reformat of a previous SPC mystery, which I do have. And the fa the toolbox in that one wasn't in my skin tone. So I picked up this one because like either way, these ones are in my skin tone. So I thought I would get that. This one is from Lilac Woods, which I haven't picked up from SBC yet, but will do. But I loved that we had this dress as the toolbox because I think in every other set, so the on um Kitness Jess has redone this art like three times in different colorways. And I don't think this box has been the toolbox before, and it's my favorite one. So I really like that. This is a kit that I will be picking up from SPC in the future. So the add-ons go out of shop before the kits do. So I have in advance bought a few of them so these are from the breakfast in bed kit which i really like and i love these fashion people so i wanted to get those and then i got two of the label add-ons for that kit as well and then i got these ones for the barbecue kit i have picked up the barbecue kit from Alyssa of plan with Alyssa. um so we've got the label sample which i expect from Alyssa. i got the ultimate kit rather than the mini which i'd maybe not considered up to this point oh well um <laughs> and i've got the uh, label add on there I didn't think about that when I bought it from Melissa. Anyway, so then I have some foil and I also have some buy, sell, trade stuff here as well. So the first thing is this ice blue foil bundle, which I really love. I don't really have any foil in this color. So I'm really excited to have this. And um, if I go to the bottom washi, you can see it a little bit clearer. This is so stunning, isn't it? I love this. I think I should have got more than one of those bundles, but really like that one. Then I got this one, which is the matte bronze sparkle bundle. I love matte bronze. I just love it. And so having more matte bronze, I just don't ever consider a bad thing. It goes with many kits. I picked up this one, which is the just one more chapter washi. I don't have the February mystery, the book mystery. If you have it and you're selling it, please message me because I need that kit. Um, but I wanted to pick up the washi because I wasn't sure if, you know, if I managed to pick up the kit on buy, sell, trade, if it would come with the washi. So I wanted to pick that up. I picked up these firework bougie boxes. I really love these. They're so fun. I picked those up in gold. And then I picked up two matte bronze, just normal bougie boxes because I don't use a full foil bundle for a spread. So I can make it last a bit longer. But what I use is the bougie boxes. So I thought I'd pick up some spare bougie boxes in matte bronze and in sparkly hollow because I'm always missing sparkly hollow bougie boxes. So I got those. So that is everything I technically got from SPC. And then we have some buy, sell, trade stuff. So this is so exciting. If you've been around a while, you will know that I am on the hunt to collect this entire set of kits from SPC. They are modern Disney princess kits and they were from well before my time of shopping with SPC. I am very close to having the full set. I am very much on the hunt for the Mulan one. So if you have the Mulan one, that's the one I need. It was this whole thing where I had the Mulan one and the Pocahontas one and then Stackery didn't put them in my box and they got thrown out and it's like this whole thing. Um, so yeah, I'm looking for Mulan. I am looking for or if you have the Moana one, that would be great because I only have the four boxes, but it's I'm okay because I have the four boxes. Um, but I think it's the Mulan one um, is the only one I don't have now. There maybe was a Peter Pan one though. So I don't know. But if you have any kits from this set, please message me on Instagram because I'm very much on the hunt. And when um when this one, someone posted this on the buy, sell, trade, uh, Sylve Plans messaged me like straight away and was like, cat, I was like, I've seen it, I've commented. But like so cute that someone like knows I'm after them. So it's so lovely. So yeah, really excited that I got this in the buy, sell, trade because I've always been kind of hoping that Andrea would reformat these, but now because of the whole pop culture thing, she isn't going to. So like I'm relying on buy, sell, trade uh, to get them. And they're so old now that most people will have used them. So I think my chances of getting them are getting so slim, but we're getting there. So this is the ultimate kit and it has like all the extras. Love it when people keep their kits together. Love that bottom washi. It's everything. Um, did I say the name of this kit? No, it's called Colors of the Wind. It's the Pocahontas one. But yeah, I'm so happy to have that. 
Um, then I have Magic Morning, which is a really fun, like, Disney Christmassy kit. And again, this kit won't get reformatted, so um, I wanted to pick it up. And I do actually already have the um, fashion boxes from this that I got in a grab bag, but this person included them. I didn't know that they were included, um, but they did include them. I really love this. I love the, like, pink and blue vibes. I love the, like, kid box. They've got all the extras. This person kept everything together so well. So I will probably be keeping this for if I have children because it's got things like, I, I don't know I I just think the vibes of like having a kid scream from this so I think I will be saving this this was the fashion boxes so cute with the little kids uh we've got the label add-on um yeah so I already have these but like no issue to have more um glitter add-on and the 15 millimeter like this person's kept very good uh, care of their kit um we've got the like pajama bottoms we've got a little bit more extras of the scene this kit is so fun i am obsessed with it i love the colors this has been a kit that i have seen come up and buy sell trade before and didn't pick up what a mistake i'm so glad i got it so that is magic morning and then last up i did not realize i bought this um because i was going to pick up again in the buy sell trade and then i was like no i can live without it until it gets reformatted and then i opened my stack crew package and was like huh um so this was the december mystery from spc and i wasn't subscribed at this time and this is like based on england <laughs> like an english brunch so like obviously I kind of had to have it. It's art by Dusk, I think, and I really just really like it. It also really reminds me of my wedding venue, so I will be saving this kit to use when we have our um, menu tasting next year, because I'm obviously not going to use this when I get married, because it's not a wedding kit, but I feel like it's got a lot of food elements and so it really works for a menu tasting because it reminds me of our wedding venue. This is the ultimate kit. So, I mean, look at that charcuterie board. The colours are so pretty. I really think this kit is stunning. I really like it. Um, again, it's one of those that I like even more in person. I just think it's so pretty. Love that bottom washi split. And then because it's the mystery, we've got like a ton of add-ons. I love that tall, tall fashion, <laughs> tall fashion, tall fountain box. Really fun. Very happy to have that. It came with gold foil. So the person who sold it to me uh, included the gold foil. I don't think that this kit goes with gold foil personally. I will probably use matte bronze. But never going to say no to a gold confetti foil bundle because I am always low on gold foil bundles. So very happy to have it. So even though I don't think it goes with the kit, I will... I'm so not bad to have the gold foil bundle. So that is everything from SPC other than the April mystery, which I will be showing at the end of this video. Next up, we have an order from Crest Press, another shop I really like, but order from a little bit less. Um, and I this was in some kind of sale. Um, I... I, was it just like a clearing out the shop sale i'm not sure it was like a shop anniversary or anything but anyway so freebie wise we've got this like celebration freebie so we've got like moving day baby shower anniversary wedding half birthday that's fun uh bought a house bought a car that's really fun as a freebie um and then we've got this foodie freebie in goals so it's got like brunch ice cream burgers chinese very fun and then this is the celebrate uh it's like sprinkle boxes this would go really well with those kits from kitten chefs like and one of those would work really well with gold and one of those would work really well with silver i will be putting those together i think those are so fun then i picked up several kits <laughs> several kits so first up i picked up the self-love kit this was a reformat of a mystery that was drawn by kittenish jess and i'd managed to hold off buying this for a long time because i felt like i had a lot of other kits that are kind of in like spa themes or lazy day themes or whatever so i thought i didn't need this but anna used this as in a plan with me at the beginning of this year and i loved it so i picked it up i think beth plans did a spread with this as well and i really liked it so i decided to pick it up i pick up all my kits from crest press in premium matte but she does have glossy paper as well i really love the colors of this it's so neutral and refreshing and i love that it's got the planner and it's like crossed out and says self-love like i'm just i'm obsessed with it the paper feels a little bit weird this time it's like not as smooth okay um i think it's just where it's come from stack Creek. So we can come back to the extras. But yeah, like look at the colours and look at the um, 
all the clip art. That looks amazing. So I think I get the essentials format from Crest Press. It's not the biggest one, basically. It's like one down, I think. So it doesn't include the checklist. It is slightly too few boxes for me, but in the interest of saving money, sometimes it's got to be done. I am obsessed with that bottom washi in every way. Um, so the freebie for the kit was like that box with different skin tones and then I picked up this box in with brunette hair we've got the 15 millimeter and then I also picked up the tall box because Jess smashed it so couldn't not um so that is the self-love kit from Crest Press then oh don't don't get lost little box then the next art was exclusive art by I'm pretty sure this is by Dinda of Milk and Berries for Crest Press and I am obsessed with this art. I think it's so pretty. Again, it's got a body of water in it, so I need it. I love the colours, the purple and green vibes. I have so many picnic kits. I don't need another one, but I love this kit. I think it's so stunning. That charcuterie board is everything. I love the dress flat lay. I love the cheese. Like, I really, really like this kit, like, a lot. Um, So let me take you through the colours. If a kit is pur purple and green, I'm probably going to buy it. Uh, it's a colour combo I really like. It really reminds me of my auntie. Her favourite colour is purple. And I it's so April to me. I mean, I in the UK, you wouldn't go on a picnic in April. It'd be freezing. But it really is like April vibes to me. I just love it. Um, so I picked up the 15mm. And then we've got these fashion people. <sighs> I'm obsessed. I really can't talk highly enough about that kit. I really like it. I was really on the fence about getting it only because I don't need another kit in that theme, but I'm really happy that I did. And then the last kit I got before we get into the foil is this one, which is called Flower Power, which is also exclusive art for Caress Press. And I think this one is drawn by... It's drawn by Nina, I think, but I can't think what her um her shop is called. Um, But I decided to get this because I think I will maybe use this for my Hindu. So... I'm not planning to have like a festival for my Hindu or anything. I think my Hindu will probably be what my colleague Priya calls the cat night special um, of probably just like a low key afternoon tea and a show probably. But this is, I love all the daisies. Like daisies are like my brand. Um, and so, and it's really party vibes. I love the colours. This um, cake just says happy as well. So it could be happy Hindu. <laughs> um i just feel like it looks like a hindu it also really looks like a birthday or any kind of party and like i don't drink this really isn't necessarily the vibes of my hindu but that's what i'm thinking of using it for um i love the fashion people like I, this cardigan i would 100 percent wear uh we've got the 15 millimeter there in that gorgeous purple yeah i just really really like this kit and i've been putting it putting off getting it for a while i talked about using it for the week i saw abba earlier in the year because it's got that kind of 70s element to it look at that but it screams more peace love plan than it does abba <laughs> so i'm really really happy to have that so that is flower power i don't know if any of those are still available in shop because i think this was a clearing out kits shop but i think those are all newer so like they probably will be there and then i've got a ton of foil because some of these were really on sale um like when caress press discounts foil it's so worth picking it up i'm not going to open all of these because there's a lot of them and i've nearly been filming for an hour already and we have got a lot more to go still and i don't know that all of these will be available so i won't open them all but i will talk through them so first up this one is the murder mystery one i have bought this in anticipation of caress press finally reformatting the murder mystery art that kitness just drew for her um it was a mystery a couple of years ago now i think it was september 2021 and i'm like desperately waiting for that kit to be reformatted i like commented to maggie once on instagram asking for it to be reformatted and she promised me it was coming but i still don't know when it's coming and jess i think you'll probably watch this video and if you could like have a chat with maggie about it it would be great because i really gutted that i didn't pick it up and in fact somebody was gonna sell it to me that has just reminded me of this like it was through the crest press buy sell trade maybe i should go back and like reply to that person and in case like what if i miss their notification but someone was gonna sell it to me i think but yeah i really really want the kit so i picked up the foil in anticipation of that um so i'm just waiting for that kit um this one is mistletoe in gold this is a really nice dainty christmasy one and i think i'm going to be using this one with the botanical garden kit from planner face this year for when we go to kew gardens this one is jingle bells is this in sparkly red yes in sparkly red which i thought was really fun i don't use a lot of red foil but it was pretty cheap so i thought i would pick it up and i thought it was really nice to have some like christmasy foil and i also got it in gold because that's a much more accessible color 
for me. I got this silver one, Dragonfly. I do have this foil bundle already and it is paired with the uh, Gilmore Girls kit, the Lily Desk art that Scribble Prince Co did. So it's paired with that because Dragonfly in. But I will be, I really wanted another one because it's just so beautifully dainty. So I just really want to have two. Oh, and I got it in gold as well. This might work with, I have just pulled out um, uh, foil for the Lord of the Rings art. And did I put, get this for that? I'm going to put those with them because I just think that would look really cute. And then I also got this one, which is Butterfly, which is in purple which I think is very fun. I really like it. So that is quite a big order for me, but really fun one from Cress Press. Okay, and then last up for the kit shops, we have Glam Planner. I don't order from Glam Planner that often, to be honest. I mean, she doesn't release a ton, but she's kind of come back. Uh, but she did a big glitch sale, and I annoyingly did not manage to shop in the first hour where everything was 50% off, but I think these were like 30% off, so it was still well worth it. And she had some kits in the like glitch sale that were ones that I wanted to pick up, so I thought I would order. So you also got various grab bags and freebies and things. So this is like a... I don't know if this belongs to a Corella kit. It feels very Corella to me, but I don't have any Corella kits. Um... But I'm absolutely fine. I feel like that sounded really whingy, so I apologise. Um, if they're a freebie, I have no issue with, like, if I'm not going to use it. <laughs> um, I always... I gift on anything I don't keep, so somebody else will get use out of it. Uh, this is a, a foil sampler, like a hollow foil one. This is a big double box that says Happy New Year. I didn't use this art. This was, I think, Celise art. Um, but I didn't use this art, and I don't think I have anything this would go with. Um, but if anybody else can make use of that, let me know. Uh, this one I love. This is Cranberry Lane and this is like Fashion Box 5. I'm obsessed with this fashion person. Again, I didn't use this art, but I think I am going to keep this in case... I don't really buy Silly Studio art that often, but I think I will keep it even if it's just like I used it in a B6 panel or something. I just think it's so gorgeous and I don't want to gift it on. <laughs> um, this one is... What is this character called? I can't think. I can't think, but like watering plants, which I do not really do, but I am probably going to keep that because what if I get into plants? I don't think I will, but what if I do? Um, and then this one I think is probably exclusive Celise art for Glam Planner, which are like kid boxes and a baby. And I will keep these as well, I think. Um, again, I don't really buy Celise Studio art, so I don't know what these would go with, but I love that we've got the kid boxes and a baby. So... I will keep that. And then this is the foil. I will never really understand why we get given the foil for a mystery because the foil is specifically foiled for the mystery. And so if you don't have the mystery, it's not massively useful to have the foil. So I don't know what the kit was. <laughs> oh, why do we have hiccups? That's so irritating. Um, hopefully those are not going to stay. Um, but yeah, I I don't know what the kit theme was. So I can't really tell you, but um, if you had, if you have the February mystery and you want the foil, um, let me know. I might need to try and see if I want to buy it now. I guess I feel like that's actually what happens. So maybe it's a really smart move that these go rack bags because I think that's happened to me before. Where I, yeah, I got the foil for the um, the zero to hero kit, and so I then bought the kit. So like it does actually work. Um, then we've got some random extra pages. I really like this artist that draws for. Um, for Glam Planner, so like I feel like I'll want to hunt the kit down for that now. I'm pretty sure this goes with the Harry Potter kit, which I already have, so that's cool. This one, this kind of looks like it goes with the cruise kit that I have from her, and that would be good. I could do some more boxes for that. I'm going to keep that out because I might forget. This one goes with the Snow White art, I'm pretty sure, which I don't have. But you can tell it's old because look, those are like all the same colour. Um, and then I'm never going to say no to having some extra bottom washi and that's in a really fun pink. So yeah, quite a good um, wrap bag there for me. Then I got a few kits. So the first one I got is Muggle Magic. I've been eyeing this kit for a long time and I have really resisted buying it because I wasn't sure I needed it. I have a lot of other Harry Potter kits. I didn't feel I needed it. But I've decided to crack because I saw, was it Alicia Craft do this? 
this with a spread and it looked amazing and I decided I really wanted to get it and I do think that at some point me and Stuart's friends will do a Harry Potter marathon because we did a Lord of the Rings marathon this year and Harry Potter's just come on UK Netflix and I messaged our friend Tom yesterday and I was like Tom all of Harry Potter's on Netflix like it's time for a watch now and I would 100% use this for when we do that so I because it's very much like watching Harry Potter it's like a movie night one so it's perfect for that so I'm happy to have it um so this was part of the glitch sale I don't know what's glitch about it because it doesn't really look glitched to me but who knows um so we've got a couple of label add-ons we've got these boxes so you could buy it like based on your house so I've gone for the Hufflepuff boxes as a very obvious Hufflepuff um so it's got like I have this actual scarf um and it's got like a robe and it's got like a hovering badger head I guess um the sorting hats and butter beer and then the fashion boxes are like the person with the like Hufflepuff version of the pajamas and then the bottom washi is really fun as well uh then I picked up Red Riding Hood which wasn't a kit that I'd seen although um is it Emma K Plans is using this I think in uh June um but yeah I really like this art because I, I love this artist that draws for um glam planner and i love anything that leans a fairy tale um so i really like this one i wanted to pick up it's really different i love it's so white like with the snow and the fox and everything but then with the pops of color i think it's just so unique and i love what we've got like the pie like the apple pie it's really fun i just really like it so i've got this one i I think these are all in like slightly different formats because they're various levels of old or new um so you know and you may be able to get some in shop now I don't really know which ones will still be in shop and which ones won't be so this one I think was like you could pick up everything all in one because I wouldn't choose to get the double box because I would never use it but I might split it in some way um because that's really nice I love the fashion person that's the main thing that will sell me on a kit is if I like the fashion person we've got a label add-on and then the bottom washi and then it did also come with the foil as well so this was the November 2022 mystery and the foil is in sparkly hollow and as you can see it is foil to match the kit everyone sort of comments this but the foil is just too much it's it's very strong it's on like all the snow basically and i also don't think i would use sparkly hollow with this kit um i think i would use silver so i'm not sure i will use it which is obviously a total waste because you can't use it with any other kit but i just think i would use silver with that i think emma k is using matte silver and red sparkly red red would be fun um but i don't think i would use hollow so I don't know, but we'll see. But I will keep them together because it's not like I can use it with anything else. Um, and then the last one I picked up is a kit that I've wanted for a long time, but resisted because I wasn't sure when I would use it, but it was obviously massively on sale. This is uh, an old mystery and it's in like an art gallery theme. Um, my mum's an artist, so it's perfect for my mum, but so are a lot of kits I have are perfect for my mum. But I might use this if we went to an art museum because it has got that like museum of art welcome ticket. So I just think this kit is really fun and I'm obsessed with the fashion people. So that's why I picked it up. So um, yeah, like look, the, I love this artist so much. And this the hair on this fashion person this is what i wish my hair looked like just absolutely incredible um and then it came with another fashion box there we've got the glitter headers because this is like pre them even being included in the kit really gorgeous massive box um label add-on bottom washi and then we've got the foil which again i don't know if i would use it but i am going to keep it together because i feel like at least that one would look really good somebody did a spread with this was it rosy plans um but yeah so i would see which ones of those i want to use and it's in silver which is a foil that i very much like so yeah really happy to have that kit um and i think there's you know some fun stuff in there of like stuff i wanted to pick up for a while so that is everything from glam Lana. okay next up we have paper shire uh i'm not sure which sale this was it might have been pbc there was a lot of freebies like there's so many freebies here um which is really fun and i was very intentional with this order i haven't ordered from paper shire in a while but i really wanted to get quite a few things because i love paper shire food doodles so I have picked quite a few of those up. So this was a bag that had like a load of freebies in. Love this sticker. Just so cute. So I'm keeping that. Um, I love, I'm obsessed with these die cuts. I don't drink coffee, but it doesn't matter. I love coffee doodles. I love coffee stickers, coffee art. And these are gorgeous. And it's in this really gorgeous cherry blossom theme, which is like the whole theme of like all of the freebies. And I think it was Zenny's Patreon theme. Um, but yeah, just really, I love it. Um, I think this was from Zenny as well, which says you are doing flipping great and then 
I don't even, there's just so many freebies I like don't even really know where to start. So the all order freebies was this box freebie. I don't typically use these, but I do save them if I like them for like future functional planners. So I will keep those. The 20 order freebie is Bunnilla. Not my favorite character of Zenny's. I know everyone else loves Bunnilla, but I like Zenny's doodles more. Um, but this is Bunnilla doing like working and studying. So very usable for me. So I really like those. These ones are like, this is the 40 pound freebie, which is like, um, working flat lays which is really fun i don't typically use flat lays but i will keep these because i think they'd be really good in a smaller planner so not my seven by nine you then also can put in i can't remember what you had to put in to get it i don't know if i just put instagram or something but this is the instagram freebie at the moment which is some like pop doodles and then these like insta stickers because i think i've had the facebook one before um and then this is celine's freebie so um Zenny has had the same PR team for like as long as I've been shopping from her and so I've I usually get Maricel's freebie but I have it so many times I decided to go for a different one and I like Celine's because it has cute cats on it so very fun so yeah I finally got a different one which is really nice so but they the freebies don't change ever I'm not really sure why I think it would be nice if they did change now but anyway so then we also have this journaling card which is absolutely gorgeous this beautiful cherry blossom like cherry blossom is a theme I really love and so um I really love that Zenny did the freebies in this and then this is a like really big journaling card and it has different types of cherry blossom so I've learned something because I didn't know there were different types of cherry blossom so I'll be keeping that because I think it's gorgeous and then Zenny hand lettered my name beautifully and spelt it correctly Thank you, Zenny. Um, so yeah, absolutely gorgeous. So predominantly, this is doodles, but I'll show you these briefly. So this is um, just the four boxes of a Christmas kit. I would have liked to have picked up more, but at this point I'd spent a fair amount of money. So I didn't pick up the full kit. I just picked up the fashion boxes. I love this um, fashion person with everything I have. Um, and I don't know if Zenny drew this. It was definitely exclusive art. I'm not sure if Zenny drew it. I mean, I, whoever drew it, it's stunning. As I say, I'm obsessed with a fashion person. So I've bought this to kind of potentially make up my own kit with like various extras or something like that. Um, because I just, I couldn't kind of justify spending any more than I was spending. Um, and then I also picked up this bottom washi to hopefully match a kit that I have from Zenny, which is not in this theme. Um, but Zenny's drawing style I'm pretty sure the one I have is drawn by Zenny um and it's it's a very particular sort of style and I don't have anything else that goes with it so I thought I would pick this up to see if it would match that kit but even if I don't look at all those food doodles which are just perfection um uh, but yes yeah, so I'm hoping that that will go with that but anyway mostly what you want to look at is the food doodles that I bought so first up I have these pasta dishes this is one of my most used stickers from Zenny I would like it if we could have a version that didn't have the red because it, the red often doesn't go with a spread um even though I know it's more accurate that way but I would like a pastel version if possible um but I really love those roast dinner stickers look roast dinner is my favorite meal okay and if I can get a roast dinner oh could I order myself a roast dinner today I was gonna order a burrito but maybe I should order a roast anyway um but yeah so I use these a lot so I picked up two of those because it's one of my most used stickers and nobody else does roast dinner stickers these ones are a new one for me these are curry stickers i thought these were a really good option for the other curry stickers i have are much bolder so i thought these would be good because they're a little bit more pastel these ones are new for me as well these are called fancy sandwiches i often find it really difficult to find sandwich stickers so i thought these would be really good and i like that we've got like a, a sort of croissants that are more savory than sweet these ones are new for me as well quiche stickers there's been a few times where i've needed to mark eating quiche so glad to have them these ones i have had before these are the kids meal stickers but like me and my friend elliot would laugh about this because this is just 100 percent a cat meal so i use these to mark when i eat fish finger sandwiches or smiley faces which are frankly top tier food these ones are new for me jacket potato stickers i haven't had a jacket in a while but if i have one i need to have a sticker to mark it so pick that up this is one of my favourite stickers that I have already from Zenny, which are pasties. I use these to mark when I have Greg's. And these ones I didn't know um, Zenny had, which are savoury pies, which are perfect because I've been using the pasty ones to mark when I have pie. But now I can use actual pie stickers. These ones are for catcher stickers. Just, you know, a great option for when you're eating for catcher. I just love Zenny's food stickers. These ones are YouTube stickers in floral because a lot of YouTube stickers come in red because that's YouTube's colouring, but they red doesn't go with a lot of spreads, so I thought these would be really fun to have. These ones are called Busy Work, and I've already used nearly all of these from um, Zenny, so I want to pick up some more because I love the MacBook in particular, uh, like the Mac. 
These ones are theatre tickets. I've not had these before, but I go to the theatre a fair amount as a musical theatre graduate. So I thought I would get those. These ones are wedding prep stickers and I'm really glad that I ordered these because I bought my wedding dress um, and I haven't done the plan with me yet. So I will be using these to mark sort of, you know, various um, wedding things. Um, then I bought these ones which are vlogging equipment because particularly for these voiceover stickers because I do sometimes just do voiceovers for plan with me is like on batch and so it's really good to have stickers that work for that. Uh, these ones are museum stickers. I found whenever you're trying to mark something that's a little bit unique like that, I don't have a sticker for it. So I've picked up a few that I think would work for going to any kind of like, this I think would work really well for the Natural History Museum. These ones are really fun aquarium stickers. And then I always need more reading stickers, always. Um, so these ones are fantasy reading stickers. So I thought those would be good to have. These ones are sci-fi. I don't read a ton of sci-fi, but I thought they would be good to have. In fact, I need to remember that i have these because i've just pulled stickers for some plan with me's that these would work better for um and this one these are manga stickers this one really reminds me of hearts the bar um so yeah really fun these are christmas market stickers because again not something i typically have uh able to mark so i thought i would pick those up these ones are wedding stickers for obvious reasons um but i didn't really have like bigger wedding stickers so i thought i would get these um and i you can customize the uh, skin tones and hair colors for these so i got ones that look like me and Stuart. and then i got these ones which are vanilla at a cemetery because i don't have any stickers for marking this and like i've again just pulled stickers for a plan with me where i went to the crematorium um to see my nan's grave and like i didn't have any appropriate stickers so i thought they would pick those up so i think everything i picked up there was super sensible and it is a bit of a bigger order for me but really lovely to support zenny um because i think she draws particularly unique stuff which i really love um yeah so i'm really happy to have every single one of those sheets um and a big shout out to zenny as well because I actually made two orders and she combined them so a big thank you to zenny for that that is everything from babyshire next up we have a couple of foil orders so first up we have planner choco i am not sure if i've ever ordered foil from planner choco before i have ordered kits definitely um no i have had some foil i think but not for a while so the kit freebies this is the may freebie which is i think this is blue hollow and i assume that this is the freebie because of the little mermaid movie coming out and then this is some beach deco which i didn't order so this must have been thrown in and again that's in blue hollow hollow very fun i don't have much blue hollow um foil but i'll keep that with my blue hollow in case i use it for a summer spread so i didn't pick up many things because i'm going to be honest planet choco's foil is expensive um I, I i didn't really look at their kits to see whether their kits were expensive i don't know if it's related to um i can't remember where um planet choco is based but it might be a currency conversion thing is probably more likely but because everything converted to the pound right now is not great but i was like oh this is a lot more expensive than getting foil from spc um but because also spc foil is manufactured so it's cheaper um but yeah i was like i can't i can't justify buying a ton so i bought a few key things um but this this order was more than i would like to spend so i don't think i'll be making a habit unfortunately of ordering for plan choco i think the foil foiling quality is very good though so like it's well worth it for the foil um but yeah unfortunately i just think i'm gonna have to stick to um to spc but i got this one which is a heart bundle i got this in silver with the intention of possibly using this for my valentine's plan with me which i'm yet to do because i think this would actually go really well even though i was trying to avoid using silver we've got a little bit of um a little bit of oops i would say on the heart there but really nothing too bad then i picked up this b bundle i'm gonna just put this with that winnie the pooh art that spc has um not that i have any plans to use that kit but i just saw this foil bundle and thought it was perfect for that kit so i decided to um just go ahead and pick it up because i think the design is really beautifully dainty i picked this up in light gold because i learned from kitness jess that her gold is like a hot gold and i prefer light gold so i got the light gold so i got this one i think is the f there's various formats but this one included the bougie because i thought that the hexagons were kind of the right thing to do there um so that one i will put with the winnie the pooh kit and then the main reason i wanted to order was i wanted to get this cherry blossom um foil which probably kittenish jess hauled and that was why i ordered it um but this is to go with the cherry blossom art drawn by lavi is it lavi art lavi print um but the kit is from planner face um and this is in dusty pink hollow um so i'm pretty sure it was the, like jess recommended it so i got it <laughs> so um i kind of built my own foil bundle so these were the like full boxes with the frames i got the deco 
I got the um, full box that includes like a double box because most kits have like wide scene boxes these days. I got the cherry blossom headers and then I got the bougie boxes as well. Is there no box? I must not have liked the bottom, the boshy because there doesn't seem to be any. Um, but yeah, so I got the bougie boxes as well. Um, I'm not actually sure if I think Pink Hollow is going to go with it. <laughs> um, but I have to trust that other people know what they're doing. Um, but I don't actually know if I would want Hollow with that kit. But it kind of works because it leans green. And that kit is like pink and green. I've not looked at it with the kit and the kits in the other room. So I can't look at it right now. But anyway, that was what I picked it up for. Um, so that was everything from Planner Choco. Next time I have a very small order from from planner hannah um and this order looks even smaller than it is because three of the sheets are not things i want to show one is a gift for somebody and then two of them are foil overlays for my wedding and they include things like the location and stuff so i don't feel comfortable sharing them on the internet so i can't show you those um so this order looks even smaller um this is the first order i've ever made from planner hannah um so we'll talk about it so this is the journaling card in a dinosaur print and then it's got um like really lovely like hannah's um like letter of my name on there um i very much don't want to sound really negative when i say this but i personally this this foil quality is not up to what i typically would like for foil um i know that when foil is manufactured like spc and crest press which is typically where i get my foil it's going to be of a manufacturer quality and i think i've got particularly spoiled by that the real downside to buying manufactured foil is that you can't buy beautiful um you know really really bespoke um overlays that have your married name on it and your location and stuff like that so i love the amount of choice that hannah has is like incredible there is a huge number of different fonts and and bundles and uh, customs that you can get done so many foil choices so that is all really fun but the actual foil quality is not quite what i would choose so i don't really know whether i would necessarily jump to order from hannah again which is a real shame because like every video i watch it watch on youtube has hauls from planner hannah and i think she has so much fun stuff so i don't i'm i definitely wouldn't rule it out it's just like it maybe isn't like the the level of foiling that i would personally um would personally choose and ultimately i mostly just buy my foil from like, manufacturer shops so for example here this is the um again this is a freebie so like you know it's a freebie i'm not too bothered because it's a freebie um but this is ellie inks um uh pr freebie like we've got foil missing on the string this foil there's a bit of foil missing here but foil missing there so i just was like okay i don't this kind of looks oops to me so i'm not sure i can use that um this one is really fun this is bestie squad the foiling on this one's perfect on the full box but then you can see we have got like some black here we've got black here as well and again this is a freebie so like this may have been an oops freebie um but the the full box is actually pretty perfect apart from that little mark there um so yeah I, it's in purple which is not a foil that i use often but i will keep that um so these are as i say i can't show you most of what i ordered but this is the fireworks full boxes which i will put with the bougie boxes that i got from spc i don't know how well it will pick up on camera particularly as my lighting is like a bit weird oh i know i think you can see like it's got just some like missing parts of the foil um so yeah i i just i don't want to show it off because i don't mean this as any criticism to hannah who i cannot imagine like hannah must have so many orders that she has to get through and i think her designs are so fun and so it's, i'm absolutely not saying this to be critical it's just i sort of want to point it out because it feels weird to me if i don't have honesty on the channel um but also because you know other people might have different like standards for foil than me which is totally fine because they you know they might buy more like handmade foil than i do um i also think sometimes there's a there's a difference between um, what some of the shops in the UK, their standards for what oops would be compared to the US. And I don't actually necessarily just mean that in terms of foil. I mean that in terms of cut lines, for example. Um, there is a shop who is a very, very big shop in the US whose cut lines are not really of the level that would like pass Anna from Planner Faces quality check, for example. Um, to be honest, I think I'm just spoiled because I shop from Anna, but um, yeah. But this is definitely still usable. It's just not like the most perfect thing I've ever seen, but it's definitely, definitely still usable. Um, and then this is the silver aeroplane. And again, like, 
you can kind of see there it's a bit like marked there on the, the airplane um and then we've got like some strikes there so again um it's not perfect but it's definitely usable this one's really fun i think i have a kit that i think this would be perfect for um so yeah so i got that one so that is travel and this is fireworks so yeah hopefully you don't think i'm being too critical i just i prefer to be honest on the channel because a lot of you buy stuff because i recommend it um and and with that comes a real sense of having to be honest and feeling it's like part of my obligation to give my honest opinion so um but a lot of people i know shop a ton from planner hannah and ha yeah I, as i say i think her designs are so cute i don't really know other shops that do design like hannah um so yeah really fun um so that is everything from planner hannah Okay, next up, I have a small order from Miso Paper. Um, so Miso Paper is a Coffee Monsters Co. stockist. So I pick up some Coffee Monsters Co. stuff from um, Miso Paper. Um, really, really good quality ships really fast. Um, this was a pre-order, so it didn't ship as fast. But like as soon as the stuff comes in, it ships really fast. So you get a really cute sort of load of like, is this ephemera? I don't know, but like that you get kind of included. I don't know how to use any of that stuff. I love this like fashion person. Um, I think this die cut either came with this or with something else <laughs> i don't actually 100 percent know that might have come with something else um but the main things i picked up were this pocket because i got a pocket in the subscription um which had like clouds on it and i just really love stick on pockets i think they're incredibly useful and so i wanted to pick up that one um and then i think these might have been from helen's shop anniversary um and then this one is adorable in fact i should show you the box before it's like washi tape cereal in a moti size and it's this like fake cereal box it is the funniest cutest thing i've like ever seen in my whole life um and the washi tape there are two washi rolls in here so we've got this one which is a cloud one with like a sort of ice blue hollow foil so we have this design do i have um yeah so it's like the same design as this one which is like a sort of nighttimey version and then this one's like a daytimey version um so really cute and then this one is so fun it's like lucky charms and it has oat milk it's not even dairy milk because i don't have dairy milk i have like i actually prefer rice milk rice milk's my favorite non-dairy milk but love non-dairy um and yeah it's just so fun and i had to have it and it's also got that like ice blue foil i think um it's just really fun i just had to have it uh um, so yeah so that is it's a very small order and it's like coffee monsters co stuff but through miso paper but i would really recommend miso paper miso paper i've ordered from them a few times and i've always found it really good so that is everything from miso paper <laughs> and then i think last up is gretel creates um so i've shown these pens a few times on the channel already but we'll talk about them um so gretel creates is also a stockist so we got this journaling card i'm not sure if i actually have free time or if i'm just forgetting something and then this one the biggest lie i tell myself i don't need to write that down i'll remember it at least i acknowledge that if i don't write it down i will forget um but i wanted to pick up these zig clean cot clean color dot markers um anna and i both picked them up um because we've seen quite a few people using them and anna's been using them in her um i can't remember what her planner is but she shows them in the vlogs and i've been using these in my laurel denise planner so i've actually already shown these in two plan with me so you have seen them plenty of times already i'm obsessed with these i love them they basically you put a dot on the paper and they make um i can show you on my like test page they make like a series of dots like this i love it it's so unbelievably satisfying and i can't believe i've went this far in my life without having them so i got two different colorways i got this pack which is called um mild and this one is called mild smoky so i wanted to go for a good color range i wouldn't say i have enough of them like i want more i don't think i have a big enough color range to match like every mild liner and tombow that i have but i think they're quite a good mixture and you can get single pens as well um so i might have to order some more um, because i just love them but yeah i didn't want to go like all out because i didn't know if i would like them but i really do like them um so yeah that is everything for gretel crates and i was about to say that's everything for this haul but it isn't because i still have the mysteries to show you so let's start with the spc mystery this time i think because it's the april mystery so most of you have already seen it um so if you don't want to see it then please click away now or skip on but if you are happy to see it i will spoil it in three two one okay so this theme is um like a boardwalk theme park theme and um i don't 100 percent know if i'm gonna keep this kit um i have quite a few theme park kits including one from spc from like 2020 um that i haven't used yet 
and that's definitely the one I want to use if we go to Alton Towers or anything and so I just don't know if I would ever get around to using this kit I have a lot of carnival kits I think this one needs a little bit more carnival like it is boardwalky but we don't really have boardwalks over here so to to me in the UK it leads carnival and I just have a lot of carnival kits um and typically I'll keep a kit and I'll hoard it for five six years you know it doesn't really phase me um but this one I don't know if I will because I just have so many in this particular theme um so if you are looking for this kit and you're in the UK feel free to message me on Instagram um and I will let you know if I'm happy to sell it um it is the ultimate kit so um somebody did a spread with it and it was really fun the spread it was really nice um oh come on now <laughs> let's look through really fun like pastel colorway which does make it kind of different um from other kits i've had in this theme i think um i really like the ombre bottom washi and the sprinkles is really fun the additional colorway i think is a very sensible additional colorway which is a green because i think green is missing from the kit um i probably would have liked that tealy color in there as well so there's a lot of fashion people with this because it has got kid boxes which is really fun so that's kind of what thinks me i could maybe be swung to like keep it but i don't know um and then you've got the like other fashion people in like a, a ton of different hair color and skin tone options um and then it came with a hollow foil oil bundle in normal i don't know i can't remember what this foil bundle is called but it's a very standard um foil bundle in hollow um which i would probably keep this hollow is my least used foil um but i have no issue with keeping a foil bundle but obviously if i was selling this and somebody wanted the foil bundle then i would probably sell that with it and then it also has this um really fun like ticket washi which is very different i think and that's also in hollow um so i don't i mean if hollow would go with the other kits i have then maybe i would keep the, keep the the fun bottom washi because it's just really different i don't know um i'm not 100 percent sure on this one um i have unsubscribed again from the spc mystery i'm like a yo-yo um just because it's just the cost from for me is i i think the spc mystery i have no issue with the price there it's just the the pound to the dollar people the pound to the dollar i'm like a broken record but it's just a lot um and it's a lot to keep paying for stackery and stackery shipping has gone up and all that kind of stuff so um i'm trying to sort of reduce my uh, but then but then there'll be a kit that i really want and can't get and it's you know it's a vicious cycle really but anyway um and then the final thing for this haul is the may mystery from fun face so again feel free to click away if you don't want to see it if you're happy to be spoiled, then I will show it to you in three, in two, in one. I'm obsessed with this kit. Okay. Um, so if you don't know, I do help Anna with the Planner Face Mystery. So I help come up with themes and mood boards and clip art lists and all that kind of stuff. I'm very involved in the mystery. And it does mean I get it gifted for free if you don't know that. So we have done for this month a summer holiday theme um because what everyone needs is more summer art it's been so much summer art this year but i think that this one the colorway actually leans really uk which is really fun um because a lot of um a lot of summer art leans really abroad and that's because most people in the planner community are based abroad um but you know most of anna's um um subscription customers are in the uk or in europe and so we wanted to do something that leans a little bit more that way which i think that this really does um and we've had this art for a long time so it's really fun to finally release it and show it to you because we were just really ahead of it um so this was the die cut i think anna the shop that she, or like where she or like the manufacturer she ordered it from sent her it incorrectly um so we've got two different colors there i actually don't think i showed last month's um i realized after i'd done the haul but anyway um so yeah so this one is it's called summer holiday it's a very much a kind of beach theme i love that we've got this like bar on the beach um i'm i'm pretty sure i probably came up with the name of those books so we've got sunshine and stickers um series of well-planned events and once upon a washi tape <laughs> that sounds like the kind of things i would come up with um and you know me i love water i've said it multiple times in this in this um uh video i am getting tired um i love that scene there I, this leans a little bit more abroad we don't really have palm trees over here but so you could definitely use it for abroad but i think it the colorway leans enough uk uh, or europe that you could use it i am obsessed with that bottom washi like it gives me literal life um as always with the planner face mysteries we have so many extras so um we have the 
I don't think I knew that that was a toolbox. I actually just had my jaw dropped open. Um, so we've got the fashion boxes in different hair colors and skin tones. I love the fashion people we did for this set. Um, love that we've got the like fruit bowl I and mean, that's a different skin tone with the hand. We've got a um, flat lay of, you know, packing. Love the 15 millimeter, gorgeous. Uh, this is the functional box. We have the glitter add-on, the box add-on, which I don't normally buy, but get included in the mystery. And then this is the mystery add-on page. So we've got a double flat lay of the, um, the packing, um, and then loads of really fun sheets there. So yeah, I'm so obsessed with this. Um, so many summer kits, so little time. Yeah, I really love this one. So this video is going to come out quite soon after I filmed it. So the next mystery will be the, oh, will it go up in time for you to get the June mystery? Possibly. I think this is going to go up on Wednesday. So tomorrow will be the last day for you to subscribe for the June mystery, which is very fun. It's a little bit different for us, but I think people are going to really like it. Um, so the sneak is up already on Anna's social media. So if you're interested, you can check it out there. You can either join the rolling subscription, which is slightly cheaper, or you can get the mystery one off. If you have any comments about uh, any questions about the mystery, feel free to drop them down below or message me on Instagram, which a lot of you do, which I love. Um, and if you ever have ideas for mystery themes, feel free to message me on Instagram as well. Can't promise that we'll do them all because um, some of you, um, you really give very specific mystery themes. <laughs> um and we do have to think about the wider community and what they'll like um but we're always interested to hear about your mystery ideas so feel free to message me and i'll add them to our list if i feel that there's something that we could turn into a mystery um but yeah that is everything for this haul um this was a really long haul for me i don't film hauls as long as this now really um so i'm gonna try and make some sense of a thumbnail and film my outro this was like basically impossible to fit, fit in a thumbnail this is the biggest haul i've done in so long like we've not even got like the coffee monsters go or she is like belly in there um but yeah thank you so much for watching this video i really appreciate it i know it was a long one but i think you tend to like long haul so i think that's all good but thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it um and i am thinking of filming a video where i put all this stuff away so if you're looking for that it should be coming maybe about a week after this one if i go ahead and film that hopefully i do that would be really fun and something new i've never done on the channel i will be linking to all of these shops in the description down below um if you enjoyed this video i'd really appreciate a like and if you haven't already i would love it if you subscribe to the channel in the description i'll have a link to my instagram if you want to check out any more content over there i'll also have a link to my goodreads if you're into book content follow me on there otherwise i will see you in my next video bye